guys, morning, I'm at Hong Chau Station and uh, we're taking this Fuxing, I think it is, train to Shenzhen and I've bought a business class ticket so you can see exactly what it's like on one of these high-speed trains. So we're just going to have a look at the front. And that is just a beautiful looking train. Look at that. That is absolutely lovely. Wow, look at them all. Look at all those trains there in the station, man. All ready to depart from Shanghai all over all over China and they have this here and I'm in seat 1F so right so I'm on the train and uh, as I say there's only one other person in the cabin at the moment oh we just have somebody else joining us in here I think when I booked, I was pretty lucky um, to actually get a ticket. A lot of the trains are fully booked because it's um, it's it's a holiday season. Um, so yeah, uh, May bank holiday everywhere is very very busy. So I have a pair of slippers here, which I'm going to put on. A little bit more comfortable. So we've just set off on our journey from Shanghai to Shenzhen and this is one of the G trains. Now G trains are generally the Fuxing trains and they're the fastest trains on China's high speed network. Um, and the, the train journey um, that I'm on is the track is around 1600, just over 1600 kilometers and the total journey time is six hours and 50 minutes. It stops at um, about two or three stations between Shanghai and Shenzhen. Or it doesn't stop at a lot of stations. And I, I don't know what the average speed is, but it's probably around, I don't know, 250, 300 kilometers an hour. But these G trains are capable of about 350 kilometers an hour um, and I'm sure we will get up to full speed at some point in the journey. And the thing is they're so um, smooth you don't actually realize you're going the speed you actually are. You, you, don't, you just don't realize oh currently we're doing 286 kilometers an hour I've just noticed it up on the display. But you really don't realise you're going so fast. Now, I also did a um, video a couple of weeks ago about the high-speed sleeper train, which was a D-class train. Now, if you want to watch that video, you can click on it here. But in the comments, I had a lot of people ask about um, how I buy my tickets. Now, I use the app called Trip.com, and um, basically, you can you can buy the tickets on there and then you get what's called an e-ticket so you don't actually have to then go and pick up the tickets as long as you have your passport you can arrive at the train station you can check in and you can board the train all with your passport you don't actually need to collect the tickets about two years ago you would have had to have collected the tickets but you don't have to do that anymore as i got on the train we had a bottle of water um, which was provided. Um, we have a box, a little box here, which I think has some snacks. So let's have a look what we have in there. Okay, so we have some sort of little, looks like a little chocolate bar actually. I'm, I'm not 100% sure what it is, but um, it could be a chocolate bar. We have some, what looks like some sort of little bag of um, rice, little bag of rice. Uh, we have a little bag of 
some sort of biscuits. Well, there's quite a lot of things in here. This looks like some sort of maybe nuts. Um, I don't have my reading glasses on, so I can't see them clearly, but this could be, I think it's, I think it's a bag of um, nuts or something like that. And a, another little bag of nuts or seeds. And oh, this looks like some um, kind of beef jerky kind of uh, product. So a nice little selection of snacks. I've also bought some of my own snacks because generally um, in China most of the snacks are sort of savoury. And I quite like sweet so I've, I've bought some sweet. I've also bought some um, latte for the journey. I, I always like a coffee of a morning to wake me up a bit. And then shortly before we set off, um, I was given this. This is some sort of um, bread roll. It looks like some raisin roll. So I'm gonna give that a try a little bit later. Up here I have a reading light, uh, which I can use this control here to turn it brighter or lower or off altogether. Um, I'm not quite, oh, this, this controls, this controls, a, I'm not quite sure what this one controls. And over this side, these are the seat controls. Um, so this seat, you can go to a right lying down position, a sort of half sitting position, a seat position, and uh, pretty much anywhere in between. And there's also a blanket provided for comfort too. You also get a nice little backrest cushion. So as I got up at about 5.15 this morning, because I was some way away from the station um, to get here at the station on time, I'm gonna have about an hour or so sleep. And then um, after I've had a sleep, I'm gonna get on with some um, editing of a video, I think. I get my blanket on. The other way around. Like that. And there we go. We can get some shut eye. It's pretty much a flat, a completely flat bed that you get in here. So it's actually very, very comfortable indeed. Right, so I'm going to have a bit of shut eye and I will see you in about um, an hour or two. I'm going to put my seat back up and uh, get my laptop out and uh, get some work done. I'm able to plug this in. I've got an electricity socket here, so I've plugged this in. Currently charging my phone and uh, I can also power my laptop from there if I need to. Um, so this is just sort of a little uh, sort of container to store. So I'm not gonna put anything in there because knowing me, I'll actually forget to take it out when I leave the train. So I'll, I'll end up losing something. Um, this side, we have a table which comes out like that and unfolds like so. So I'm gonna go and uh, get my laptop and uh, see if we can get some work done. This is quite interesting. Apparently we're now, the train's gonna be going in a different direction. So they've made us turn our seats around, which is uh, something that I've never experienced before. The, um, the young train, um, lady insisted that I do so, so that's what I've done. Ideal little table here. Um, I've got my laptop, which is quite big, six inch, and there's still a little bit of room here for a mouse and also for a cup or a bottle, uh, whatever I want. So it's pretty good. So the cost of the ticket was 2,693.5 yuan, which is around 300 pounds, uh, 320 pounds. Now that is quite expensive, but if you do compare it to a 
business class ticket on a plane, it's very comparable, if not cheaper. Um, the cheapest flight today on business class from Shanghai to Shenzhen was over 3,000 RMB, and many of them are five and 6,000 RMB. Now, it is a holiday time, so um, flights and trains are booked, but it does give you some level of comparison. I don't usually book business class um, as it's not normally within my budget but I wanted to this time to show you what business class on a longer um, high-speed train is is like and, and it is very very comfortable I mean, if you take the overall time um, it's actually six hours 50 minutes um, and it's not that much different to flying although the flight time is only two and a half hours um, the uh, timing getting to the airport you've got to be there a couple of hours earlier you've got all the security security is much easier to go um, by, by train and with a lot of camera equipment batteries and that it does it is a lot of hassle at a head airport for me compared to a train station it's much simpler it's much faster you literally don't have to turn up at the train station until about half an hour before you train maybe a little bit sooner but you know it, it's way different to airport so actually the, the overall travel time is not that much different to to flying and actually the train station is much closer to my home in Shenzhen than the airport is so again that's another bonus when I get there um, and um, I'm able to relax a little bit more on the uh, train I have a lot more room around me um, I have a nice table I can work on if I was it's not quite as convenient on an aeroplane um, you know I, I can get Wi-Fi on the train which a lot of planes I cannot do that so yeah I, I actually prefer the train and it's it's very very nice on this occasion to be able to travel in a uh, business class compartment to be honest I was expecting something a little bit better in business class than a ready meal. I guess that's something I think they could possibly improve on is the uh, quality of the food. Um, some of the airline food. I've just I just recently flew with uh, Junio Airlines, and I must say I, I found the food really quite good on Junio Airlines. Apologies for the light, but we're uh, we're in and out of tunnels quite often. Okay, let's go take this back to the uh, woman. So uh, this is the first class <coughs> in here. And, uh, so this is the uh, the area where the uh, train attendants sit, and this is the toilet. Um, so a locker on the door there, and it's fairly standard thing, a little wash basin, toilet here, and uh, a mirror here. So yeah, pretty, pretty standard. Another wash area here, and this is a place where you can get uh, hot water. Um, need to find out whether they've got any coffee. Okay, so something that surprised me, I've been on here five and a half hours, and nobody's offered me a hot drink, a tea or a coffee. So I've just been to inquire and I was told, yes, we do have coffee. However, you have to buy the coffee, um, which I do find somewhat surprising considering that you pay 2,700 RMB for a ticket and you don't get coffee included in that. That somewhat surprised me because obviously if you're on an airline, you would have coffee um, included in that price. So I had my coffee. The choices were Americano, Capitan or Latte. So I've gone for a Latte. It is Starbucks coffee, um, which is, is pretty good, better than sort of instant uh, like Nescafe or something like that. But I'm still pretty surprised that paying 2,700 RMB for a ticket, you have to buy coffee. I would have thought that would have been something that would have been included in the um, business class ticket price for sure. So I have been on these um, business class trains in China before, um, not often, 
but this is something we just don't have in the UK. Generally, in the UK, we have first class, we have second class. And interestingly, if you look at the airline industry, um, first class is usually a higher level than business class, but in China, on the trains, um, first class is a lower level than business class. Business class is the top level, and then um, you have first class, and then you have um, uh, regular economy class. Um, and actually on some of the older trains, you can also buy a stand-in ticket. So it's actually like four classes of tickets in total. Right, so we have arrived in Shenzhen. Um, just leaving in Shenzhen now. Is this here? Okay, so it's uh, fairly warm and sunny in Shenzhen. Just have a look at the front of that train again before we go. Oh my God, look at all the insects that are squashed up the front of that train. That is absolutely mad, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, such beautiful trains there they are. I hope you did like that video and that is giving you a bit of an insight into what it's like business class on one of the high speed Fuxing trains from Shanghai to Shenzhen. If you did like the video, consider hitting the thumbs up. If you like the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. But as always, for now, take care.